Hey there and Merry Christmas to you all. I wanted to celebrate this festive season by covering some Christmas specials and movies on my channel. Without further ado, on with the video. Okay, honestly, I'm never really sure how I feel about this Christmas special. Along with most of the other shows I like, every festive season I find myself re-watching this special, and every year I'm at a loss to whether it's an episode I actually like. The plot to this one is very straightforward. Danny destroys the ghostwriter's Christmas novel in a fit of rage, so to punish Danny for disintegrating his greatest work, he tortures Danny by taking control of his life and trapping him in a new festive poem, forcing him to live out the story in a near endless rhyme. I don't really blame the ghostwriter for this. First of all, Danny cheers with glee after doing this. He is so joyful to have destroyed something related to Christmas, which just seems mean-spirited and not in line with the holiday. I'm a writer too, and I'm incredibly passionate and proud of the craft. If Danny had destroyed my greatest work, then I think I would have reacted in the exact same way as the ghostwriter. Conceptually, I think this is a great idea for an Xmas special. I even want to commend the writers for creating a 20 minute long poem. I think most writers would struggle with a tremendous task like that. And I think for the most part this works, with the exception of a couple of cringe lines here and there. What's wrong with you, Jasmine? Your brother's out there. Hold down the fort, Jack. I'll go after all we're taught. Those trees will not stop me. Oh man, that is hot. As a newly introduced character and somewhat villain of the flick, I think the ghostwriter was a great choice. Voiced by the incredibly talented Will Arnett, known for betraying a depressed horse in an incredible Netflix original series, and the Lego embodiment of the Cape Crusader, he does a very convincing job bringing this angry and passionate character to life. Although, I would argue Danny is more of the villain than anyone else in this episode. Yes, the ghostwriter reigns terror on Amity Park and tries to ruin Danny's Christmas. But none of this would have happened without Danny making poor choices and being horrible to people around him during the holidays. Danny's reasoning here isn't very compelling either. So the subplot to the episode is Jack and Maddie arguing about whether or not Father Christmas is real. Don't get me wrong, this feels very true and in line with Jack as a character. But his parents squabbling over something as pointless as this at Christmas doesn't seem compelling enough of a reason for Danny to be this cold, even if parental neglect of him as a child played a role as well. I think even the writers were aware of how flimsy the ghostwriter's villainy was and had to invent the ghost truce towards the end of the episode for him to be further punished and attempt to justify his imprisonment. I like the ghosts having a Christmas pact, it ties them into humanity even more and pushes the theory that they were all once living even further. I just think there should have been some passing reference to it at the beginning of the episode. That way it wouldn't have felt so much like it came out of nowhere. The final confrontation was fun, if a little short, especially considering how much of the builder was Danny trying to find the ghostwriter. I thought the whole orange joke was funny and a great way for Danny and the ghosts to stop the ghostwriter. A Satsuma. But doesn't that just sum up Christmas? You go through all those presents, and right at the end, tucked away at the bottom, there's always one stupid old Satsuma. And, as most festive specials do, the episode just ends with Danny and the ghosts putting everything right in time for Christmas. So, yeah, I'm always left feeling a little bit hollow after watching this episode. I mean, there's nothing inherently bad about it. In the same way, it's not great either. It's just alright. I think my main quarrel is that the writers sacrifice plot in favour of rhyming dialogue, which is such great dialogue and is always a lot of fun, but between destroying the ghostwriter's book and defeating him in the end, I don't feel like a lot happens really. Yeah, presents fly through the sky and Christmas trees start trying to kill people, but apart from that, nothing of note or memorable really happens. It just feels like a lot of padded waffle in the middle. What did you think of this episode? Did you enjoy it? 
If you like what you saw, then please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I hope you all have a great Christmas, stay close as I post new content every single week.